alamin that is to be named Allah wa huwa and the word Allah or the name Allah huwa aslu al asma it is the fun, the foundation of the names of Allah meaning this is the name that all other names they emanate from all other names from the names of Allah they emanate from or they emanate from right how many names of Allah do you have khalilu Huh? I heard him say 99. Abu? No one knows. Oh man, I like that one. I like Khalilu one too. Ustaz? He say only Allah knows. Right? I like that answer better. He say more than 99. He say no one knows. But when he say no one knows... We all understand, right? Just it is mahzuf. It is a statement that is what understood that he meant to say, "No one know but Allah," right? If we were to write it down, we say, "No one knows but Allah," right? Because we all know that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He is all the all knower. He is the all knower. La yaqfa alayhi shay that there is nothing from the earth. Right? Or from the heavens, there is nothing that is that is unknown or hidden to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here, as the name of Allah, Allah, the word Allah, it is the asl, meaning it's the name where all other names of Allah emanate from. They all barakallah fikum because the found the asl, asl, the foundation is that which is is built upon ahsant. So therefore, wa huwa aslul asma. It is the origin of all the names of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Wali hada, and this is why taati al asma tabi'atan lahu. This is why, if you look at the Quran, except in few places, two or one, that any time you have other names, they will only, only if they are mentioned with the name of Allah, they will only follow. The name of Allah. The name of Allah will not follow other names. But rather they will only follow the name of Allah. The word Allah. Right? For instance you say. Bismillahi ar-Rahmani ar-Rahim. Look. You didn't say. Bismillahi Allahi ar-Rahim. But rather he started with what? With the asl. Because what is whatever is the foundation is to be placed first. Whatever is the foundation is to be placed first. Right? You all remember the hadith of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when Jibreel Alayhi Salatu Wasallam asked him about what? Ask him about what is Al Al Iman. What is Al Iman? He didn't say Al Iman is to believe in the angels. He didn't start it with that. But rather he said Al Iman is you believe in Allah first. And to mina billah. You believe in Allah. Why to believe in Allah? Because this is the asl. This is the foundation. This is the, the fundamental. This is the origin. It is no benefit that the person believe in the angel without believing in Allah. It is no benefit that the person believe in the hereafter without believing in Allah. It is no importance that the person believe in the prophets, all of them, and he does not believe in Allah. Now, 
So here the word or the name of Allah, the name Allah itself, Allah, it is the asl of all the names, all other names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why they will always come following the name Allah. They will always come following the name Allah. So therefore here, the name Allah, la yusamma bihi ghayru. No one else is to be named Allah. No one else is to be named Allah. Right? And we all know that the word Allah is, yani it comes from the word, ish, ilah. Huh? Ilah, that's number one also. Huh? No, the, the word, it is mushtaqun bi'ay. It is ila, that's number one. Ila meaning bima yu'bad. What else? <coughs> Al-uluh also. Al-uluh. Al-uluh. And this is the same meaning, meaning that which is being worshipped. So this is why anything that the person worship, that's his ila. Anything that the person worship, that is his ila. Anything that the person worship, that is his ila. This is why... It is not correct to, to say La ilaha illallah means that there is no God but God. Because anything that a person worships, that's his God. Whether it is worthy of worship or not worthy of worship. So, you, so therefore here it is a very important point to understand that alhamdulillah the word Allah it is a name that only Allah is deserving to be is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is not to be named anyone else, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you have individuals that, uh, that attribute divinity or deity to human beings. Right? Let's say when you take the when you take the five percenters, right? Or when you take the nation of no Islam, right? So they, they have this belief whereas they will centralize a human being or a ethnic group and entitle to them some type of deity. Let's say when the likes of the nation of no Islam, right? They will attribute deity to every black person. Right? And see and view as the white man to be the devil. Right? And see the and accusing the white man of being racist. But here this is totally racism. Right? You cannot you cannot segregate, right, and say that the black man is God. Okay. Now there are certain attributes for someone to be to be a deity. There are certain attributes that it must be there for the person to be a deity. There are certain attributes. If you say the black man is God. Now let us break that down first inshallah to see whether or not the black man is God or he is not. Right? Now there are certain things that must be prerequisite. If everything that you find in life there is prerequisite in those. If you evaluate, barakallah fikum, those things that will make someone to be a deity, if none of those who are present, or some of them are not present, then he is not eligible to be God. Now it doesn't matter if the people, they call him God or not. Now if they call him God, he is a false God, a fake deity. Alright, what are those that only a God can do? Creating. Okay. Creating. Well, when you say creating, now the person will say, hey, you know what? The, the, the first one that created the, the light, right? the street light, is a black person. What are you talking about? How are you going to refute that? Ahsanta created from nothing. Can anybody here, I'm seeing all of us here, right? Can anybody, Barakallah, if you can create from nothing? Huh? Huh? Create meaning from out of nothing you create something. Can anybody do it? Nobody barakallah fikum can do such. Number two. Number 
Very good. That he is always knowledgeable. He is always knowledgeable. He could not be in one single blink of an eye to be not knowledgeable of what's going on. And I believe one thing though. That every black person sleep. That is a fact. And anybody sleep, barakallah fikum. If you sleep for two hours, all that time that you're sleeping, you don't have no knowledge of what's going on. If a person come and pinch you, right, some people will not even feel it. That's how much of a unawareness that they have. So if any black person sleep, okay, right away, he is being what? Discredited from being a, a god. Number two, three. Abdurrahman. Ahsanta. There is no one that controls life and, de life and death except the only one that created life and death. Right? Before even go getting to controlling life and death, right? Can any of us right here make his heart stop beating? Does anybody have that ability to say, okay, I'm going to command my heart to stop beating? Can anybody do it? Absolutely not. So therefore... That also is to show the black person is not God. Another one. Ahsanta, seeing everything. Having the ability to be the all seer. Akhi barakallah fikum. Who among us right here, right now, can, can say there is this amount of cars outside? None of us. You only know your car. And perhaps the other brother's car. Okay, I know, okay, that's it. But you cannot say there is 25 cars outside. Or you, don't, you cannot say there is, barakallah fikum, uh, 50 cars outside. Because you don't see them at this point on. You are in the, in the, in the, in the masjid, and the cars there, barakallah fikum, on the outside. So that also discredit that to say that the black man is God. Abdurrahman. Ahsan tabarakallah fikum. That a true deity cannot die. Because, okay, if the true deity die, then who will be in charge of the heavens and the earth? If the God that created, okay, if the God that created the heaven and the earth, he dies, then who will be in charge of ordaining and organizing and disposing the affairs of the, of the world, of the globe? So that showed that. And we, how many black people die? Many. So he's not God. What's your name? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Please. A question. Make it brief. Why is some card? Hold on, hold on. If, if there's pretending something between you, inshallah. Uh, see me, inshallah. See, see me after, after, the, after this. See me after this, inshallah. We'll talk about right? See me after this, after. See, see me, see, listen up, listen up. Both of you, right? Inshallah, Timothy, Timothy, Timothy. Inshallah, I would really appreciate that after the class, I will see both of you, inshallah, right? If it is good with you. But this is, this is something that, alhamdulillah, we, it's very important that certain aspect of when a person live in an area, he has to be knowledgeable of his area because Alhamdulillah, you know, most of the time we on, on all national we pass by, you know, those who they sell bean pass and or you have people that are new to Islam that might be receiving some information on the outside before prior coming. Or some of us, Alhamdulillah, maybe we came to Islam in the door of nation of Islam, of non Islam. That's a fact that some of us came in Islam by the channel of the nation of no Islam. But 
Come into the religion of Alessia.